Christ. It is great to have you with us as we worship the Lord. Sit and back and enjoy as we share the good news of the gospel. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing songs of praise, read the Bible, and pray for those in need. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer requests, praise reports, and lead souls to the Lord. You may call us at 606-464-4250 at any time during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome into our service. And we uh, hope that you'll stay tuned now for the next one hour because we have some singers and phone operators and we're here to lift up the name of the Lord. And I want to start off by saying thanks to Richard and Joyce uh, for uh, filling in for me last night. Yesterday was my birthday and I decided I'd just go shopping instead of working. And so if I could pull that every night, well, I'd, I'd have it made. But I guess it won't work overnight. But anyway, uh, and then uh, I want to explain. Some of you did not expect me here tonight on this date because I had put in a little newsletter to try to let some of you know what was happening. I was, uh, I was scheduled for a complete knee replacement today, but I had to have a, a clearance from my dentist and... Uh, before they they would do surgery. So it looks like I'm gonna to have to have a lot of dental work done before they'll do the, the knee surgery. And so I'm still in the process of trying to get well and trying to fix things. But uh, so the surgery has been postponed for right now for my knee. And uh, so we uh, uh, still appreciate all of you praying and for, for this and uh, uh, the other day, my knee was feeling better, and I said, oh, wouldn't it be wonderful if all these prayers, people's praying for the healing after surgery, if I could be healed before, then I wouldn't even have to go, would I? All right. Uh, we, uh, we do appreciate all of you that have helped us and praying for us and standing with us. And uh, uh, I know I remember that when uh, Freeman's, and Ruth Saylor was uh, able. Uh, Freeman would always want to volunteer to work on my birthday so I wouldn't have to work that night. So uh, we thought about them yesterday because they, uh, for years, they helped and along with a lot of other people that's gone on to be with the Lord. But we're still here. We still got a job to do. And so if, uh, if you need a prayer tonight, of course, we have phone operators upstairs that can help you. Uh, a short scripture and then we'll get into the music and um, but once again I do appreciate all of you that have been uh, uh, sending in pledges on our transmitter trouble there's still everything's still not fixed it's some things have been but there's still uh, uh, work that they're having to do and appreciate all the gifts that came in last night and uh, even today uh, this uh, church is singing for you tonight. They brought in an offering to help on it, and we appreciate it. You know, we can, uh, when we have a, a trouble with the equipment, that's when we really feel the pinch around here. And so, uh, but the Lord has kept us here 39 years. The 18th of this month will be 39 years on on TV. So I'm sure that he's going to find somebody to help to continue to keep it. All right, let's get to the scripture. And this is for everyone. The scripture is always for everyone. Don't don't. Uh, but I just mentioned the the sick and the ones that are shut in and really a little discouraged. That's the ones I like to think about because. When you're in the house all day and all night and maybe weeks at a time, you get you get a little weary and you need to be recognized. And so that's why I always talk about the sick and the shut-ins because they're bad. They're fighting a real battle. But for everyone, here's some scripture, and this is uh, 
a prayer of a humble trust. Psalms 130. Out of the depth have I cried unto thee, O, o Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If thou, Lord, shouldest mark iniquity, O Lord, who should stand? If there is forgiveness with thee, that thou mayest be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul doth wait, and in his word do I trust, do I hope. My soul waiteth for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. I say more than they that watch for the morning. Let Israel hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from all of his iniquities. Psalms 130, uh, a prayer of a humble trust. How just pouring out our heart to the Lord. That's what he's uh, told us to do. Different, different scriptures that we're to uh, not try to uh, try to act like he doesn't know what's already going on because he knows our thoughts even before, he knows our words even before we say them. So it's really silly to try to think, put on, put on airs and make the, try to make the Lord think you're more spiritual than you are. Uh, he knows, so don't, uh, you can deceive somebody else, but you can't the Lord. But anyway, uh, we need to really, out of our hearts, cry out to the Lord. And uh, that's, what we, that's what we try to do around here. We have some requests in. Debbie from Jackson for her brother-in-law, Mike, that's having heart surgery. A woman from Williamsburg for uh, some grandchildren and some uh, custody battles and so forth. A Mary from London for lost loved ones had her uh, had a uh, some tests and so forth. And also another lady is called for her children. Uh, if you need to call, go ahead because we have we have phone operators that will uh, pray with you and talk to you. Let's pray while the singers come. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that we have this privilege of being able to come to you and just being ourselves and crying out to you on how we feel. You already know the needs before we even ask. And so we thank you that you you work, you answer, even while we're yet speaking. Many times you've done this over the years for us, and we thank you for that. Thank you, Lord, for every gift that has come in to help with this uh, transmitter difficulty and and the expense of the ministry and so we th ask you to bless each one and lord bless this uh, singing group tonight our phone operators and we want to do something positive for you tonight in jesus name amen all right tonight we have as our singing guest we have the alto church of god from alto kentucky their phone number is 606-398-2623. Uh, and uh, the pastor there is Chris Turner. And uh, so let's just welcome the singers right now. Praise the Lord tonight. Amen. We're so blessed to be in the, in the Lord's house tonight, able to come out and sing a few songs to uplift the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And uh, we just pray that the Lord blesses us tonight. There's a day just out in front of us I know will surely come When those eastern skies will open wide Revealing God's dear Son And I know from here to heaven Is but a twain of an eye and in the midst of all his glory you hear the sweetest cry welcome Was it worth the 
believe at least for me oh i'll see my mom and dad with my brothers and my sisters everywhere i look a friend for the greetings will be precious oh,
there's a light in the window the table is spread in splendor and someone standing by the open door and I can see a crystal river oh it must be near forever Lord I've never been this homesick before see the bright I'm a working on a building too. I'm a working on a building. I'm a working on a building. I'm a working on a building for my Lord, for my Lord. It's a Holy Ghost building. It's a Holy Ghost building. It's a Holy Ghost building for my Lord, for my Lord. Well, if I were a liar, let me tell you what I'd do. I'd quit all of that lying, and I'm a working on a building. Too. I'm a working on a building. I'm a working on a building. I'm a working on a building for my Lord, for my Lord. It's a Holy Ghost building. It's a Holy Ghost building. It's a Holy Ghost building. For my Lord, for my Lord. Well, if I were a preacher, let me tell you what I'd do. I'd keep on the preaching. And I'm a working on a building too. I'm a working 
working on a building. I'm working on a building. I'm working on a building for my Lord, for my Lord. It's a Holy Ghost building. It's a Holy Ghost building. It's a Holy Ghost building for my Lord, for my Lord. Well, if I were a prophet, let me tell you what I'd do. I'd keep prophesying, and I'm working on a building too. I'm working on a building. I'm working on a building. I'm working on a building for my Lord, for my Lord. It's a Holy Ghost building. It's a Holy Ghost building. It's a Holy Ghost building for my Lord, for my Lord. Jesus told his disciples of things to come. He would be persecuted, beaten and mocked. The Son of Man would die on a cross, but he wouldn't stay dead. is it coming to take us home by his blood he has brought me and his word he has taught me he didn't stay dead the trump of God, the King of all kings, who paid the cost, he didn't stay dead. to go to amen I want to go I want to make sure when my time comes and 
You know, I don't know when, I don't know the day or the hour, but uh, I want to make sure that I'm ready. You know, that should be a goal for each and every one of us tonight. Amen. To make, you know, the Bible teaches us make our peace calling and our election made sure tonight. Because we're all going to leave here tonight. Make sure that you're ready to go to heaven when this life is over with. Some wonderful day We're leaving for glory I'm going where time And eternity me We may see a sign City limits of heaven Great power for a change To enter the game
There'll be no more waiting left for our souls. One day there'll be no more children longing for home. Cause one day when the kingdom comes right here where we stand, we will see the promised land. And one day there'll be no more lives taken too soon. One day there'll be no more need for a hospital room. Cause one day every tear that falls will be wiped by his hand. And we will see the promised land. won't cause a divide cause one day we'll be family standing hand in hand and we will see the promised land we will see the promised land hallelujah there will be healing from this heart When the power of evil is brought to an end, we will see the promised land. We will see the promised land. Hallelujah. There will be healing from this heartache. We've been feeling. We'll sing in the darkest night because we know that the light. On a page, it was written by feeble hands. Said, This is my last request, and these are my funeral plans. Lord, when I die, let me die speaking in tongues. Let it ring in my ears. All oh, those songs I sung. Lord, give me the strength to praise you. Speak your name. One more time, have your angels carry me over to the other side. Now, Lord, I lived a long life, now my race is run. I can't wait to leave here, I've got nothing left undone. I've got everything in order, tell my children not to cry. Cause I've left them a road map They can meet me in the by and by Lord, when I die Let me die speaking in tongues Let it 
Mighty angel 
over on the other side. And I'll sing, I'll sing and shout, shout with a mighty angel bed. And you'll see, you'll see me rise, me rise beyond the starry sky. And I'll live, I'll live again, again over on the other side. Well, I have a mansion over there, built and beauty rare, and I'm a going home to live again. I am going on a trip when I say goodbye, and I'll live, I'll live again, again over on the other side. Thank you uh, so much for uh, for the all the songs, and we appreciate uh, the church for coming from the Altro Church of God from Altro, Kentucky. That's up near Buckhorn State Park. Uh, if you want to just go visit them, that'd be a a good uh, place to go on up and see the park. Their phone number is six zero six three nine eight twenty six twenty three. And uh, Chris Turner is the pastor there, so uh, we uh, appreciate them coming and so forth. Well, from the phones, we've gotten some uh, some calls, and and it looks like uh, I haven't had a chance to read through these yet, so we'll we'll read them together here. Uh, you know, we mentioned about the uh, elect, uh, transmitter trouble we've been having. Well, uh, folk have really been generous about helping, and uh, uh, so here from Pike County, uh, Stephen Madden has called in uh, $500 in honor of my birthday. Well, thank you. That helped getting old. <laughs> that, uh, so thank you so much, uh, Steve Madden, for helping with the ministry. From Russell County, a name with help, $100 uh, for the... Uh, transmitter. Virginia from Letcher County. Two people in the hospital on a vent and uh, pray that things will turn around for better. And there's an empty page. And Nellie Wooten and Johnny Ambergie, that's a brother and sister, and uh, they want to say a belated happy birthday to me. I appreciate all the cards and uh, gifts and flowers and so forth, candy and so forth that I've gotten for my birthday. I, I hope to be here next year to have another one, so yeah. don't forget it. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, well, here's some of the. Uh, well, here's one you'll definitely want to read. Uh, um, I hesitate to hand these to people if you haven't read over them and can't cipher some of the writing. While we have, I uh, hear some more coming in. Nancy. Uh, uh, George has called from Fleming County. They're wanting uh, help, uh, needing prayer, prayer for a family that's in need from uh, Madison County. Uh, needs prayer, her children, grandchildren, great-grand. A praise report from Eva. Uh, <clears throat> prayer for the children's dad who passed away. They prayed for his salvation last night and he got saved. All right. All right, so he got saved before he passed. That's great. An uncle from Montgomery County has called for a nephew's wife, a husband for his wife from Menifee County, a great-great-grandfather uh, for a grandson from California. <clears throat> There's uh, more coming in, and let's see. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, here, I'll, I'll, if you want to read those, those. Uh, Mary from Knox County, $50 uh, gift in 
Memory of Charlie Johnson. Thank you so much. Mary Johnson from Knox County. Debbie from Jackson County for Mac that came through heart surgery all right and praising God for the recovery. Steve from my, uh, Pike County, pray for him. He is in a lot of pain. Russell County donates $100 and uh, to pray for her, for Russell County. Amen. Thank you. All right, you want to read yours? Yes. We have Betty Magra tonight from Fayette County. She she wants prayer for her brother-in-law who's not feeling well. She wants prayer for all of her family and herself. And tell Sister Margaret she's praying for her. Thank so you, Mr. thank Ms. you. Miss Margaret, you got somebody, yeah. amen, with you tonight. You got I Linda need. Morgan. She says pray for Jesse and all the kids. And got a court date coming up. Mm -hmm. Nancy Harrison from Fleming County. The daughters and families they need prayer. Uh, we got J.C. I think this might be J.C. Collins, my father-in-law. Oh, okay. Uh, from Bretha County, he said, prayer, prayer for, he's very sick, so let's remember J.C. tonight. Mm -hmm. Amen. Tina Buffin from Lawrenceburg wants everyone for all, thanks everyone for all the prayers. And for mother passed away, Ethel Brammer, that passed, and amen, just keep that family in prayers. Mm -hmm. Louise called from uh, Powell County, oldest granddaughter has COVID, and can't taste nor smell. Wishes Margaret a belated birthday. Well, thank you. Jeremy Fugit wants to pray for pray for staff and workers at WOJC. Praying for mm -hmm. you, Don. Yeah. It's Margaret and everybody else. Amen. Mm -hmm. yes. You're all always a firm believer. We're having a birthday coming up here. <laughs> Don, we got time to work on Come your on, birthday. Come on, Don. <laughs> we got one from Estill County. Prayer for a friend and his mom from Estill County. And we've got a Salvation report tonight. Yes, that's right. Amen. Uh, Lloyd yes. Atkins. Mm -hmm. Amen. From Berea. He's mm -hmm. called. He's got problems with his legs mm -hmm. and he can't hardly walk. But, uh, you know, uh, Lloyd, uh, amen. Uh, that, that's, that's wonderful tonight. Mm -hmm. He's, he needs prayer. Uh, for his health, but uh, certainly, amen, there's, yeah, you know, the Bible scripture says yes. there's more joy in heaven over one sinner mm -hmm. that repenteth than over 99 that need no repentance yes. today. Yes. So uh, let's keep Lord upon the prior saints and, uh, yes. you know, yes. and uh, amen, let's, you know, uh, I believe when uh, somebody turns to the Lord, amen, there, Paul said, I find in the law when I was about to do good. That mm -hmm. means Paul figured it out. Amen. Mm -hmm. When he when, when he got saved on the Damascus Road, he found opposition the whole time. Mm -hmm. That Amen. That that uh, he became a child of God today. So, mm -hmm. Amen. So let's keep Lord in our prayer, saints. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That's great. Praise the Lord for that tonight. Yes, he's made the best decision he'll ever make. Uh, Peggy from Bertha County for Regina needs a miracle. Uh, Bonnie would like a prayer for her brother. Johnny, that has been very sick. Uh, uh, family in Breathitt County is uh, starting a ministry and the enemy is uh, attacking, of course. Uh, mother for the Campbell family, Donald from Pulaski County. And uh, we have uh, health, health issues and needs a touch from God. And we have uh, someone from Clay City having trouble with his feet and legs. Uh, Phyllis for all of her family from uh, Laurel County, Earl and Goldie and their family. Uh, a lady is called for Kathy and Cody and family. And we have, uh, uh, okay, uh, Shirley has called for Jamie from Laurel County with uh, special needs and, uh, uh, and special needs and uh, it's just a, a long, long story yes. uh, to some of these people have had real, uh, real serious problems. And so, yeah. uh, so we, we know that that's uh, prayers of agreement can mean so much. And so, uh, so we know that uh, Chris here believes in that. And so yeah, we're going so to, amen. we're going to, be, we're going to do our part. We're going to pray. We're going to bring them before the Lord. And you agree with us. Amen. And prayers of agreement are very powerful. Amen. Amen. Let's pray together today, tonight. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we very, we ask the Lord for you touch the each one of these needs here tonight, oh Lord, that are scattered about all over Kentucky today, Lord. But we just pray. God, that you just uh, move Jesus, upon each Jesus. and every one of these tonight, yes, God, all Lord. the sickness. Uh, dear Lord, for each viewer that uh, watched tonight, dear Lord, very thankful for those. And 
God, we just pray that you just bless this TV station tonight and dear Lord, and everything that ever it may come against us tonight, Lord, we just pray yes, for your yes, uplifting yes. power tonight. Yes, Lord, we, need, we, we pray for the Lord tonight, God, that yes, made that decision you, to serve the Lord and amen. And we ask you, Lord, just to put that shield of protection around about him tonight mm -hmm. and help him and be his strength tonight, Lord. We ask this in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. All right. Very good. Amen. Very good. So uh, uh, prayer does work. There's a lot yes. of things that happens that uh, only God can change. Amen. And so, uh, you know, that's when we uh, when we start really letting, getting back and letting Him op uh, work on these things then it'll get done quicker. Many times we stand in our own way of getting prayers, I think, Amen. Yes. where we let our, our fears overtake our faith. So what would you like to uh, tell tell the folk tonight, uh, Pastor Chris? I'd like to tell Lord that he needs to, he needs to find, him, find him a good Bible. Church. Uh, find him a good Bible and get in and start reading it and, and pray and seek the Lord. And, uh, mm -hmm. Amen. And, uh, Get him, get him. If he's able to go to church, definitely go to church tonight. Amen. And uh, just just serve the Lord. It may be tough. And, uh, amen. But keep on keeping on. I, I believe it, every struggle and every pain that we go through in this life, uh, amen, will seem as nothing when we go oh, to the yeah. other side. And, mm -hmm. uh, I thought about it to all the... When we, when, we, when we get to heaven, there won't be any, any more thing that troubles us. And we're going to leave all of them behind us today. Go ahead, Miss Martin. Yes, uh, uh, Ronnie has called once prayer for Catherine. Uh, she needs a touch from the Lord. And Sue from Lee County for yes, Coy that has cancer. Uh, for Morgan County prayer for, uh, for her and all of her family. Uh, some of them have doctor's appointments coming up. And, uh, Amen. So, yes, the, the Lord can... You know, when we send out petition to get people to uh, pray, it's not just the few you see here are praying for these because yes. we have so many good old seasoned saints out there that's fought many of a battle in prayer and won because they kept their faith in the Lord. And so they pray. They pick up on these, uh, these needs and they pray. Uh, when they, they can't sleep at night, they remember... Uh, the ones that they really can identify with. Uh, there's There was one in there that has already lost a family member and uh, uh, the, another one is almost or trying to pass away. And so uh, for a mother to have to see that, go through that was, it's just, uh, just too hard, too hard. So uh, that's why we call on the Lord, isn't Amen. it? Yes. All right, we got a we got a minute or so. Uh, you want to tell anything about your church or location or something yes, in case sir. somebody wants to come? We're at 55 Dange Creek Road. I mean, that's in Altro, Kentucky. 41339. Pop it into your phone, and uh, and uh, we have services every Wednesday night and Saturday night. Come and be with us. But we also you can pick us up on Facebook. We live stream every service every Wednesday night service and every Saturday night service. So, uh, amen, we'd be glad just to... So how do they, what do they do to pick you up? What I think address? just get on Facebook, ask my our daughter this, just get on and pop in Outro Church oh, of God. Yeah. Okay. And you should be able to find it in there. Okay. So, uh, you know, God, God's bigger than what, to, than what we are. Oh, yes. And he can... You know, the Bible said his ways are higher above our ways as the heaven is above the earth tonight. So, mm -hmm. you know, we, we just do appreciate an opportunity to be able to come down and do a little bit to, to uplift him. Mm -hmm. It ain't about us being lifted mm -hmm. up, but it's about the Lord. Yes, yes. Amen. We just pray That's for right. his mercy and his grace to be with us tonight. Yes. Well, once again, thanks for all of the calls we got. Thanks for those that are that uh, sending in their gifts to help and uh, for all of you that sent birthday cards and so forth to me throughout the month, it's been it's been neat. I've I've enjoyed them, but we're out of time, so well, that means we've got to hush and go home. So from all of us, we want to say good night and God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. 
We hope that you are truly blessed and encouraged every time you watch. This program is made possible by your contribution and support. Would you become a financial partner of the Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? You can send your pledges of support to the Hour of Harvest, Post Office Box Y, Bayville, Kentucky, 41311, or visit us online at www.hourofharvest.com. May God bless you.